Hi guys, it's Lars here. Uh, I wanted to do a quick video to talk about some of the ideas I've got for the Polytunnel next year and hopefully get a bit of conversation going and get some uh, get some ideas out of people, get some comments and discuss stuff. This first photograph is a hybrid grow bag system. Uh, this was developed by Larry Hall. Uh, the plants are grown inside bags which allow moisture to wick up out of the uh, water bath underneath. Here you can see a larger overview of the system. Uh, there is a, a water butt which feeds water to the plants and they're actually sitting inside uh, damp-proof membrane trays. The stones stop evaporation. This is one of the old aquaponics trays. It was originally filled with pea shingle media and you can see I've used some of that media as uh, just an evaporation stop at the bottom. The bags in here are one gallon and three and a half gallons and they're planted out with kale and cabbage. The bags have been filled with a mix of uh, compost, potting soil and cocoa core. This helps wick moisture up into the soil and feed the roots of the plants. So I've been considering how to use this technique for growing as part of an aquaponics system. In Larry's design, there's a float valve which is built into the grow beds. This maintains a level of water in the bottom of the bed at all times and is usually topped off from a water butt or the mains. What I'm planning to do is use the overflow from the aquaponics fish tank to deliver water into the bottom of the beds. On the diagram, the overflow is represented by the blue pipe. Due to this overflow, there will be a constant stream of nutrients and water flowing through the bottom of the gravel bed. This is uh, provide two things. One is provide uh, water and nutrients to the grow bags. The gravel bed is also going to act as a filter. Uh, and I'm going to add uh, as much bacteria and earthworms and other bugs into there as possible to help break down the fish waste. The plants are grown in normal compost mix with cocoa core this age wicking, uh, as does the fabric at the side. The fabric the bags are made out of is geotextile, it's a spun woven polyethylene I think. It's It doesn't weigh anything but I, I'm really impressed with the strength of it so far. I've been sewing these bags up for a couple of weeks now. So at the end of the tray, as you can see with the green pipe here, is an overflow. And this is going to be set to always keep uh, about one or two inches of water in the bottom of the trays. And there's going to be multiple trays in this design. The overflow then takes the water out of the trays and into a sump. This is buried just below the surface of the ground. In the sump, the orange circle represents a pump. This is a normal aquarium pump which is going on, which is basically running all the time. This pumps the water back up into the uh, into the tank with the orange pipe. The orange pipe has a venturi in it which is drawing oxygen into the water. You'll also notice the blue pipe, there's a small box there, that's uh, actually a T section of pipe which uh, allows air to run into the pipe. The point of this is to stop any siphoning action so that if the pumps were to turn off, the tank wouldn't siphon out into the, uh, into the row beds and then overflow the sump. Okay guys, so I'm going to leave this video here. Originally there was a second part where I was looking at wicking grow beds um, and my, my plans to how to incorporate those into my aquaponics system. Uh, it's taken me, I ended up recording half of this. Um, I then got a, a cold, lost my voice, uh, and then completely forgot about it for a week. So a lot of this video is about uh, three or four weeks old now and I just feel bad for having not uploaded it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this off here. I would be really really grateful if I could hear everybody's ideas and opinions and uh, uh, and get a bit of discussion going on this because I think using uh, a combination of aquaponics and hybrid grow bags is going to be is going to bring down the cost of aquaponics which is a expensive way of growing plants and it's going to hopefully fill in some of the gaps with uh, having to buy fertilizers and buy com um, like chemical fertilizers in hybrid grow bags so yeah, I, I'd, I'd love to know what everybody thinks. Okay, so I'm Lars Islander. This is my plan for the build, which will be happening in January and February next year. Uh, thank you for listening, and uh, stick your thoughts in the comments, guys. Thank you very much. Goodbye.
In 2015, I am challenging myself to become food self-sufficient. This means that throughout the year, I will be growing all of my own food on my small holding, the island. Throughout the year, I will be documenting my progress on my blog and in daily video updates on this channel. If you want to join in on this adventure, then you can subscribe to the channel, discuss things in the comments, and friend me on Facebook. Links are in the description below.